Okay, so here we have the Evergreen Forest. I think we might spend a little extra time here other than what we're here for. Uh, I really want to try and get um, um, Shauna to level 3 Dragoon or more. Dragon Guard. You know, that reminds me. I, I haven't played the first two, but I did pick up the th third Dragon Guard. I think that's with the 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 one main character Zero. If that's if that's the series I'm thinking of. Uh, a couple things to note here: Evergreen Forest. Uh, the enemies here tend to counterattack and are somewhat difficult. I don't know if being level twenty-two is is low or or high for this point in the game. So. If you're around this level, you might have some difficulty if we have some difficulty. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. And if we head to the right, we can pick up a D-Stone amulet, which is going to help prevent petrification. Uh, being petrified. Which, I'm assuming, since... The game is telling us you can buy these things that we're going to have to fight something that's got that. You know, I think I'm going to drop that on, on Shauna. Because even though having the... Uh, yeah, the eluding cloak is nice. Being able to at least prevent petrification. Well, at least one character. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Now, have you played the third one? Or is it just the uh, first two? Okay, what the hell is this? A wounded bear. Looks like that, I believe. We're gonna block from attacking. What kind of camera angles can we work with? Got some health. That's confused. So let's go ahead and guard. Oh yeah, I actually just heard about uh, near Automata, I think. I've I've always meant to pick up the the first near, but I just never got around to it. It's definitely one of those games that I wanted to play. I did not know that it was connected to the Dragon Guard series. Although I guess it makes sense because. I think you gotta play through Nier three times to get the full story. And the same type of thing goes for at least Dragon Guard 3. There's like a, uh, path A, B, C, and D, and there's no way I'm going through all of that. Because I know the final fight on Dragon Guard 3 is crazy. It's uh, so crazy from what I've seen is people had to actually do a. Uh, 
a um, like a little timing video because uh, it's all rhythm based and the camera angles are changing and all that kind of stuff. I feel like Shauna should have her third Dragoon by now. But anyways, we'll go to the left here first. It'll pick up some stuff here. Picked up a body purifier. Well, at least it's only one enemy at a time. That's good. So let's do this. We are going to stop it from moving. speed up Shauna. And we'll just attack. I don't know. My notes say that these things tend to counterattack, and I haven't had one yet. Okay, let's see. We want to head... We go to the left. A lot of different things in here. Let's see. If we want to take on the boss... We go south is the next town, north is our optional boss, so let's just kind of fiddle around here for a little bit. Okay, this is the one that's going to probably be a pain in the ass. Ouch. Yeah. I don't want to take on three things. I'm not I'm not quite sure what they're capable of just yet. What is this? Okay, we'll have to come back there at another point in time. Actually, yeah, I think that mound over there is the next, the next boss. 
possibly. Dresser. I'm thinking this. We might spend a lot of time here in the Evergreen Forest. We're going to obviously take on the optional boss. But we might spend some time leveling uh, Shauna's Dragoon here. It's supposed to be very, very good at leveling because as she gains levels in her Dragoon uh, form, She'll be a little bit more effective in battle, as well as gaining more SP per attack. here. I really don't want to get into a fight just yet. Come on, you know you want to level up. So one thing I really wish that this game had was some way of knowing how much more you had to go 
to level the Dragoon to the next level. I'm sure there's a chart somewhere that tells you uh, how much SP you have to accumulate to gain a level from one level to the next. Oh gosh. What are, what are these? Okay, wind, earth, wind. And I don't have... Let's try to get out of here. I really don't... Uh oh. Dang it. Leave her alone. Run. Oh, you evil things. Get out. Stop. Run. Thank you. Gosh. Let's go back in the other area. At least I knew then that it seemed like I was only fighting the uh, wounded bears. Probably just my luck, not necessarily the set encounters. Now wouldn't it be so ironic if I lose this fight? Just as I hit the save point, game over. All right, a couple things here. Let's get rid of... Let's block this one from attacking. Speed up Shauna, so she can get a few hits in. Well, that's the first counter I've seen so far, so I guess my notes weren't completely wrong. Finally, yes. Level three. All right. I'm not quite certain what her magic does. I don't think we can actually check it. No. So we'll stay in here for a little while. 
I know this isn't the, exactly the uh, most action filled, plot progression, story filled uh, start to disc three, but this is going to serve us very good in the future um, by leveling her Dragoon up, amongst other things. And to be honest, we really haven't done any grinding at all since the very beginning of the game. Flying Rat. Let's just see. What do we get? Was it 75 points? Or 70. Okay. Okay, it seems like we'll fight one enemy on this first map. Oh, that's not cool. Here's here's an inter uh, interesting question and inquiry, and I wonder if anybody knows. If I use additions and I gain SP, and the enemy runs away to where I don't finish the battle, I don't gain the experience, does the SP still count towards leveling your Dragoon? I would imagine it would, since I would assume the SP gain stays part of your SP gauge, but I'm not so certain because for an uh, for an example, um, I believe, um, like in Final Fantasy VII with the limit breaks, you have to use uh, obviously you have to make some kills for the first. Uh, to learn the second of, um, let me rephrase that. In Final Fantasy VII, your limit breaks have two, uh, two per level, and in order to gain your second of any given level, you have to, um, 
used the first a set number of times to learn the first limit of the next level you have to kill a certain number of enemies so in order for a kill to count you must finish the battle and the character I believe has to be alive I'm not quite sure a hundred percent on that but you do have to at least finish a fight to have the kill count it was just recently a uh, question as to whether or not simply using the number of uh, limits required to learn the next uh, limit in that particular level range if all you did was just use them all at once in one battle and run away would it still count and it doesn't you have to finish the battle so I'm, I'm kind of wondering if this is the same concept that you have to finish and successfully win a fight to have it count towards your Dragoon level. I don't know. First things first, we're going to get rid of the forest runner. I don't want that thing attacking. Then we're going to speed up Shauna just like we have been. Huh? <laughs> 